My name is Dorina Teire Kabachala. I'm currently the manager of customer experience. I've worked with DFC for over 15 years, coming to 17 actually, yeah. Okay, I joined as a tailor so many years ago and um, I did several roles in the branch. Um, I have mainly been in the branch actually, I've served, I've served longest in the branch. Um, so I grew through the different ranks in the branch. Um, I did banking officer too. I did branch operations and eventually I became branch manager, which I did for quite some time until recently when I moved into the customer experience um, manager role. Honestly, if you had asked me this question when I joined this bank, um, I would have told you that I wouldn't be in this bank this long. But I have enjoyed my stay in DFCU Bank and um, I think I am where I should be because there's timing for everything. Uh, my growth has gone through so many phases, you know. Uh, when I joined, I, I was a young girl straight out of the university. Um, but now I have a family, I have grown career-wise, I have made investments while here. So I've made friends, uh, networks, I am healthy. So there's been so much growth for me, not just career-wise, but across, yeah. Um, the first lesson is that success does not happen overnight. Um, I've told you I've been in this bank for a very long time. So of course when you join, um, you have ambition, you probably think in 10, 15 years, I should be the MD. And it might not turn out that way. So it's very important to realize that you can't just um, achieve success or be at MD level within just five years. Because that can be very frustrating if you don't achieve your dreams within the life, you know, that period that you've set out for yourself. So it's important to be patient. It's important to learn. It's important to be open to ideas and eventually you will get to where you want to be, yeah. Then secondly, um, I've learned that it is important to have a balance between life and work. Um, because you know when you join this corporate world, it's very easy for you to just chase career and lose out on so many other things. If you look at the life of a banker, most of the bankers spend over 12 hours seated in one position. So you'll find that you're so engrossed in your work, you'll probably put on lots of weight. People that saw me 10 years ago, if they met me today, some of them might not recognize me. So it's very important to strike a balance, health-wise, but even in your personal life. Uh, it's, it's important to give your employer the best, but also think about yourself as an individual. As you're working for your employer, are you thinking about yourself? Are you investing in yourself? Are you going back to school? Are you, are you making any investments outside life? Have you given up on your, on your interests? Because you know, there are, past, there are things that you love to do, but because you put in so much time at the workplace, you end up losing that, that, that passion for those things that you used to do, that you used to enjoy. For instance, I enjoy dancing, but if you ask me now, <laughs> you know, um, there are people that love sports, do they still make time for sports? So it's very key that you strike a balance between work and, and life. Then finally, um, another lesson, it's important to invest in yourself. Because the world is so competitive. Along the way, I kind of got comfortable. Hmm? And, and I was just working and family and I forgot about myself. I lost myself along the way. But eventually, I got back on track and I started investing in myself. I went back to school, I started building my networks. I was not just locked inside the bank. So it's very, very key that you invest in yourself um, because the world is competitive. If you want to grow, you have to invest in yourself so that you can ably compete with the rest of the globe. I 
actually think that today the girl child or women have been given a platform. Um, however, it's very important that we as women believe in ourselves because um, if you realize many times we sell ourselves short. We don't believe in ourselves. Opportunities come, we look at them, but then fear and feel like, no, I can't take on that challenge. Can a woman do that? You know, so it's very, very important that we believe in ourselves and know that we can actually take on any role in the world. Women will rule this world one day. And I am happy that currently we are headed towards that. So if every woman can believe in that, um, then they can be able to take on any challenge. Because the platforms, the, we've been given an opportunity actually. We now need to grab it. Um, but also as women, we need to, to encourage one another. If there's an opportunity, and you know that, you know a lady that can do the role, recommend her. We also need to mentor the girls. And because some of us now have experience, but there are even so many other women that are more experienced than me. So we need mentors hmm, to tell us how they've done it, share their, their, their experience, share their failures, the challenges they got along the way, so that we are able to handle the challenges ahead of us. Then uh, secondly, I think it is important to identify and prevent um, unconscious biases. You see, for a woman, there are so many things that can work against you in this world, in the workplace, but even just out there. The way you dress, the way you carry yourself. Um, even simple things or normal things or natural things like having a child, you won't believe it, but People will judge you if you if 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 you have a child, and then say two day, two years down the road you have another in the same organization. It will be perceived differently by different people. You understand? So it's important that as women we look out for those small small biases that no one will ever talk about, but that can actually affect you career-wise and just life.